Well, the accusations against Senator Franken overshadow what could be an even bigger story. Congress has known about sexual misconduct and other kinds of misconduct by its members for years and has doled out your money, taxpayer cash, to keep it quiet. A group called the Office of Compliance has handed out more than $15 million to settle 260 alleged cases of sexual harassment, gender discrimination, and other wrongdoing by members of Congress. Jason Chaffetz was the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, which monitors uh, situations like this. He's now a Fox News contributor and joins us tonight. Um, Congressman, thanks a lot for coming on. Yeah, thank, so, well, <laughs> thanks for having me on. The disgusting topic, but I'm glad you're covering it. It 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 is, and I you know I I, I don't want to fall into um, you know assuming people are guilty or self righteousness, which I think is a natural byproduct right. of discussing things like this. But one thing I think we can right. all agree on is that Congress shouldn't be using taxpayer money to settle cases like this, and then kind of keep it from public view. Why is this the arrangement up there? No, no, look, we need to maximize the transparency so people can see what's happening. Uh, and, and I just believe that people should be held accountable. Why, if you're breaking the law by engaging in, say, sexual harassment, why should the people of Kansas or Utah or Florida have to reach in their pockets to pay off a settlement for something that you did? The members should be responsible for that. Well, th well that's, exactly, that's exactly it. And look, not everyone accused is guilty, and I think we should always remember that. Right. On yeah. the other hand, yeah. if you're mm -hmm. accused by one of your staff of mistreatment, that's kind of between you and your staff member. The Congress is not a company. Shareholders are on the hook. Why don't the members pay these settlements? Well, and, and look, you also have, in large part, Washington, D.C., the congressional offices are run by a bunch of 20-year-olds uh, oh, because there's so many interns and people who fresh out of college. But would you want to send your son or daughter into an office where they've had to, to settle a case for sexual harassment? These offices are pretty small. In the House of Representatives, you have six or seven people working in there. That's, right. It's not a very big place in the individual office. So... I think they need to maximize that transparency, which they can do if they choose to do. They need to, I believe in the principle of restitution. They should have to pay for it themselves if they broke it or, or committed, you know, something against the law. Uh, and then they should give some exposure to new employees who are coming in so they're not stepping into a bad situation. So, but, but how has this been able to persist for so long? I mean, we've had sexual assault yeah. scandals on the Hill. They had to shut the page school down because members were molesting the pages long before you yeah. got there, but, you know, 30 years ago. So why has this been able, why have members been able to dip into taxpayer money to settle these? I have no good excuse for it. I got to tell you, I haven't had a whole lot of visibility on it. When we had things happen, we've had members, when I, the eight and a half years that I was there, we had one member on the Republican side of the aisle was shooting selfies with his shirt off. Uh, mm -hmm. But the moment John Boehner heard about that, he called him in and the guy resigned within a couple of hours. We yeah, had another that. person on the Democratic side of the aisle. Remember where they had the tickle fights? They were having tickle fights with their staff members. And it went on for a couple of weeks until the po person finally resigned. Policy-related tickle fights or non-policy-related tickle fights? <laughs> it's just disgusting. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't, I can't explain it, Tucker. I can't. <laughs> Congressman, thank you for that perspective. I appreciate it.